All right, welcome to Life Skills Bird Pet Chores Quiz. Today we'll be quizzing you about pet birds and the chores that need to be done by having a pet bird. Question one, which picture is an example of a pet? The red car over here or in the red spot, the blue spot here with the food, the yellow spot here with the animals or the green spot with the clothes? Which picture is an example of a pet? The yellow spot here, we see the cat, the dog, a bunny, and the bird. Those are all examples of pets, those animals there. Question number two, which animal is an example of a pet bird? Over here in the red, over here in the blue, over here in the yellow, or over here in the green? Which animal is an example of a pet bird? There it is in the red. That is a picture of a bird, a pet bird. Question number three. What is an example of a daily pet bird chore? Taking your bird for a drive, feeding your bird, cleaning out the cage, or walking your birds? Which is an example of a daily pet bird chore? Feeding your bird is a daily bird chore. They need to have fresh food and water every day. Question number four. What do birds do for exercise? Do they go for walks? Do they go to the vet? Do they go to the shower? Or do they play with their toys in the cage? What do birds do for exercise? Birds play with their toys, that's right. Question number five. Which picture shows a bird getting daily exercise? The bird here on the boy's head, come here to the cage. The bird eating over here. The bird going to the vet over here. Or the bird playing with this ball toy. Which picture shows a bird getting daily exercise? Ah, there's two answers here. So over here, getting out of the cage and playing with their owner and spending time is a good way to get exercise. And also over here, playing with the ball or any other toys inside the cage. Two good answers. Question number six. Washing blank is a daily pet bird chore. Washing their toilet. Washing their feet, their claws there. Washing their beak. Or washing their bowls is a daily pet bird chore. Washing their bowls, that's both food and water bowls, daily with soap and water, is a daily pet bird chore. Question number seven, where do birds pee and poop? Do they pee and poop in their cage? In the car? In the litter box? or in the bowl? Where do birds pee and poop? Birds pee and poop in their cage. So it's important to clean out to the bottom of the cage on a daily basis, and then a thorough cleaning on a weekly basis. Question number eight. What do bird pet owners put on the bottom of the bird cage? Do they put water? Do they put newspaper? Do they put regular paper? Or do they put foil, tin foil? What do bird pet owners put in the bottom of the bird cage? Ah, they line it with newspaper or any other paper products. And this helps keep the cage clean. And that's where the bird pee and poop goes. And then they just clean that up at the end of the week. Question number nine. If seeds fall out of the bird cage, pet owners need to sweep them up, vacuum them up, dust them up, or rake them up. 
If seeds fall into the bird cage, pet owners need to well, there's two answers. They need to either sweep them up or vacuum them up. We don't dust them up or rake them up. Question number 10. Pet bird pet owners need to wipe down the bird cage perches and toys once a week. Yes or no? Bird pet owners need to wipe down the bird cage perches and toys once a week. The answer is yes, that is a weekly chore. Those bird cages, the perches where they stand on, and their toys need to be cleaned thoroughly with soap and water on a weekly basis. Question number 11, where do you take your bird to make sure it is healthy? Do you take it to the veterinarian, the vet? Do you take it to the grocery store? Do you take it to the dentist? Or do you take it to the classroom? Where do you take your bird to make sure it is healthy? You take it to the vet. That's right. And we do that on a seasonal, as a seasonal chore. So once a year, when the seasons change, it's good to take your bird to the chore. All right. Thanks for this cahoot. Hope you learned lots. And we'll see you next time.